In today's video, we're opening over 500 packs of the new Rarity Collection 25th Anniversary. What's up guys, we're back with another amazing Rarity Collection opening. In this video, we have over 500 packs to open and tomorrow we will be opening until we complete the entire 500 plus card set. But before we get into it today, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a booster box of this awesome set, Rarity Collection 25th Anniversary. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite rarity from Rarity Collection 25th Anniversary. You have seven to choose from. Let's get into it. These two cases were not given to me, but I was allowed to open them for my local store, Frontline Games. So go give them a little, check them out, you know, check them out there down here in Tennessee. You know, it's, pretty, it's good times over here. So go give them, I don't know, a, a checkout. I don't know, they have an online store. You can check them out there. We have a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. I'm gonna be getting into it pretty quickly because we have 500 plus packs going on here but i was talking to the owner and he said hey i just want you to i've already mentioned this in the last couple of videos but he's like hey i just really want you to tell your audience to to say to konami or at least me to say to konami somebody's gonna say it but he wants the uh different set codes for each of the different cards which i thought of another reason this is a good idea and this ironically it's because of this card eldritch has two versions in here so there's not only seven rarities of eldritch there's two versions of eldritch so there's 14 eldritches in here with the same set code the alternate art doesn't even have a different set code so there's 14 eldritches for one set code makes no sense same thing with nightmare unicorn is it unicorn that's in here i think it's unicorn that has two versions same set code seven different rarities very confusing just and i've done, even done videos on telling the different rarities because some of them are very similar to others so if you're a new Yu-Gi-Oh person you might not know the difference now this is something they've never done so i expect that uh it's unlikely they do it but maybe they will take you know it's never too late to change it up just because we've done 25 years the same way doesn't mean that we can't swap it up and do it the right way from now on because if we're going to do seven rarities and some have alternate arts it is time to have a different set code for those cards it would be nice especially when i'm doing this binder it would really help pot of prosperity secret rare i didn't pull any secrets of that yesterday forbidden droplet what a pack forbidden droplet and pot of prosperity in the same pack is not bad this is definitely going to be more of a podcast style you know because we're going to be going for so long sit back relax grab your popcorn you guys are going to need it Oh, Fairy Tale Luna, our first ultimate rare of the video. Beautiful Nightmare Unicorn. There's one of the, uh, yep, it is Unicorn, has an alternate art in here. So just enjoy the long video. I have no idea how long this is gonna take because I, I went in there to get my three boxes from Locals and he was like, oh, the Egyptian God slide 25th. That's actually one of the cooler ones in my opinion. Alpha the Master of Beast. He's like, hey, you wanna open a case for us? And I was like, sure, why not? And he's like, how about two cases? And I was like, Sure, it's gonna be a long video. Let's do it. So we got two cases here. I'm pulling some crazy stuff for Frontline. So if you do want to get it from them, it'll probably be on their website at some point. I think they have a TCG player as well, store. So you guys can go check them out. It's a great local store. It's really nice people over there. Um, Dogmatic Ecclesia, there's our first Platinum Rare. Spellbook of Judgment, ulti. No collector rares yet. Oh, another ulti back to back. You love to see that. Platinum and two ultis in one pack. We're also gonna be seeing if we can make our money back, which these cases are about $900 each, which is quite expensive, I know. So it's gonna be an $1,800 value thing. So we're gonna see if we can make our money back for 1800 bucks. Obviously, I already told you guys, I didn't actually buy these. These are I'm opening for the store, but we're gonna see how Frontline does. Nibiru, there's a 25th anniversary. That's beautiful, Dogmatica Ecclesia. <gasps> evenly ulti okay no collector rares yet interestingly enough that's a 25th anniversary and an ulti in the same pack that's not bad there's going to be some insane one pack magics for this kind of stuff i'm going to be trying to keep these at least <laughs> somewhat separated but it is going to be tough with how many nice rarities there are pre-preparation of rights is that that's no, just a secret okay magic glass fusion we have inspector border Win the wind channeler. There's going to be a lot of nice cards by the end of this thing. It's going to be exciting. None of these, unfortunately, are going to count toward our binder because it would just be too messy because these are not my cards. Lava Golem. That's a, okay, ultimate or ultimate. Yeah, no collector rare yet. I'm still waiting on one. This still hasn't happened. I might put the ultras and supers together because they're kind of the same. They're the lower rarity of this set. Um, but yeah, we're going to be continuing our binder, which you guys saw in yesterday's video. I had a binder that I started, and by the way, that takes a long time, putting in 500 card sets. Like, obviously I didn't have all 500, but just getting it together and like getting it organized was not the quickest. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a little faster. So tomorrow's stream is definitely gonna be long. So if you like those long streams where I'm just 
sitting there opening forever and forever and forever. Well, that's what's going to happen. Heat Soul, we have Iris Sword Soul, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow, Abyss Dragon. Okay, there's going to be a lot of good pulls. I've been thinking about the ratios. Uh, it's it's about three per box for the quarter centuries. That's 36 per case, obviously. So just math there. But that means we're going to get 360 if we open 10 cases. So we only need 81 different ones. Uh, so I feel like the amount of cases I have bought will be plenty. There's a collector rare, first one yet. You can see that texture right there. It's pretty cool. Nibiru and Code Talker. So that's the lower one. So there's 48 when it comes to collector rares and ultis based on what I opened yesterday. So Chaos Space, we got, oh, wow. Check that out. Ghost Bell Collector is beautiful. That is amazing. Cherubini and Code Talker Inverted. These cards look so good. So basically we should have, you know, if we open like five cases then we're gonna have way over the allotted uh, 81, not allotted, but the 81 we need. So there's gonna be lots of dupes, obviously. That's kind of the problem. But if we do two or three times as many as we need, I think eventually we should get all of them. I'm guessing what might happen is there'll be like one or two that are just really hard to pull just because like the randomness. I heard there might be short, short printing, so that might make it hard too, but we'll see just how bad it is. Dimension Shifter, we have Pot of Prosperity. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a super fun stream. We've never done a set completion, uh, live at least. Actually, really at all, now that I'm thinking about it. Not with uh, not with you guys. I did a LOB back in the day, Egyptian God Slime. We're going to get all of those today, apparently. Fairy Tale Luna. So many high rarity cards in this opening. We have a long, long opening ahead of us. Reasoning Goat Format. Love to see that 25th anniversary. That's pretty cool. Ash Blossom. Still have not pulled anything above an Ultra for Ash, I don't think. I think it is one of the shorter printed cards in theory. I don't actually know that for sure. People think that maybe it is. I haven't really watched a ton of breakdowns or anything about that. It's also possible there's just a lot of versions. So I'm not going to like freak out about it at the moment. We're just going to keep opening and see what happens. Dark Ruler No More, Spellbook of Judgment, Magician Salvation. That's a collector rare. Beautiful. Should all schism and Vision Hero Ferris. I think Ferris would be a pretty cool one to get high rarity as well. Okay, okay. Let's see. Ghost Trick Angel. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow. We have Ice Barrier. I, we do need to talk about some of the takes on some of these. Okay, that's two collector rares. It's a Winged Dragon Ross Fear Mode. I heard some crazy takes about this set. I heard that some people were saying that they thought the ulti was like the gold rare, like maximum gold. They're like, oh, it's like maximum gold. Like, what is wrong with you? I guess people just maybe have not seen them in person yet. But once we get the next ulti, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit better. Like there's it's so much better than the gold rare. Like I didn't necessarily hate the gold rare, but when it comes to playability, it was like too textured. You could feel it through a sleeve. So it was just too much. The ulti is not like that. It has a little bit of texture, but it's also really, really beautiful. We have an Intis, Abyss Dragon. I really want to get that in high rarity. Evenly matched. All right, come on, give us an ulti so we can just talk about how awesome it is. Danger, Tri Brigade Revolt, Striker Dragon, Selene, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Good stuff, but not good enough. We have number 100, Code Talker. Let me know in the comments, have you opened any of this set yet? Because if you have, I'm sure you're excited. I see it feels like every comment I saw that it opened it were like, I, this is the best set I've ever opened. It's so amazing. It's so awesome, which is really cool to see. Really great feedback. You'll love to see that from a Konami product. You know, they're doing their job. They're actually making some good stuff, which we love. And if you guys have not grabbed any yet, don't forget, I do have a discount code. This Platinum Rarity down below 5% off if you want to grab a box or a case. So there are cases available as well if you want to grab yourself a case, which if you do grab a case, you're going to get a lot of cards. You're going to get 36 QCRs on average. You're going to get 48 collectibles. 48 ulties. I mean, just saying those numbers is like you're going to get that many 48. It's kind of insane. So while it is more expensive, these are costing a little bit more than the normal cases. It just like the return feels so good, whether it's money or whether it's just like the fact that you get so many high rarity cards that you can collect or whatever. Ferris, I just said I wanted one of these 25th anniversary. That's beautiful. Summon limit, Ice Dragon's Prison and Dragon's Topelia. I'm trying to figure out, speaking of uh, collecting these this set, Tomorrow, I'm trying to figure out how I want to like re realize what we have and don't have. Like, am I going to have a list that I'm going to be marking out like or I'm just going to have to check the binder every time? It's going to be hard because there's 500 cards. It's like really difficult. Oh, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. That's beautiful. Boralode Savage, Cherubini. That is a collector rare, which I also really like those collector rares. I think they're beautiful. There's a lot of really awesome looking cards in here. It's a home run of a set. Um, I have talked a little bit about the negatives, which we will touch on again in this video of this potential negatives. It's not even necessarily negatives, potential negatives, but there's just negative. There's only one. There's so many positives. People are loving it. 
Uh, well, one other negative is it's a little bit more expensive. So I, that is something that exists. It is slightly more expensive than normal, which, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh products not cheap already until, of course, it's been out for a month and it's cheap all of a sudden because nothing holds value in Yu-Gi-Oh, unfortunately. Um, Lone Fire Blossom, we have Red Ice Flare Metal. Oh, okay, here we go, Ultimate Rare. You're telling me this thing right here is the same as a Maximum Gold Gold Rare. Look at that. Look at that. It's not even close. Maximum Gold Gold Rare. This? Maximum Gold Gold. I mean, come on. Come on. That is so much better. Oh, there we go. We have a Collector Rare. That's beautiful. Wow, both Dogmatica Ecclesia. How cool is that? The Ecclesia pack. Wow, that is amazing. Celine looks really good. Artifact, Mud Dragon. We've got a super. Still so many packs left. This is gonna be a long, long video. Oh, Imperm 25th. Okay, Danger Jackalope, Triple Tack, Eldritch. There's just so many cards. Like that would probably be like the chase card in like a main a main set. And we have like 20 of those that are just amazing. Ancient Fairy Dragon, Vision Hero Ferris. We're getting all the high rarity now. Beautiful. Gold rare? No, thank you. We have the Compulsory and the Dogmatica. Really nice. What do we have here? Triple Tactics Talents. Effect Veiler. Rhoda. Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. I'm not interested in pulling all of those. Unfortunately, I have to pull them because it's in the set. Mini cards have been opened and mini cards will continue to be open. We already have enough pulls to like make up for like 10 core sets. We're still opening. Magician Salvation. I did not realize this was in here. Nice Dark Magician stuff going on. That's beautiful. Compulse. Oh, look at that collector rare. That's amazing. I can I'm starting to really be able to tell the differences on these cards. Like the ulti and the collector rare, you just got to get used to it a little bit, and then you can really see it right away. Intis. Nice. Nice. That's looking good for the uh, Dogmatica deck. Very nice. My Invoke Dogmatica Dark Magician deck got a lot of upgrades in this set. I'm just saying. Nightmare Unicorn, Small World After All, Lancia. We have Ash Blossom. Still have not pulled anything above an Ultra. I don't think we pulled a secret. <sighs> Samoon, Fairy Tale Luna, Ghost Trick, Baron de Flu. We have Pot of Desires. So many good cards. Rarity Collection, 25th Anniversary, Eldritch. I mean, you just. And with alternate arts, thank goodness there were only two alternate arts because I was putting the binder together and I realized, like midway, oh wait, there's two Eldritches in here. And I'm like, how many other uh different versions are there because i'm gonna make this whole like binder there's artifact lancia and i'm gonna have to like reorganize it. i'm gonna put the 79 cards in there and then have to move them all when i realize there's a second version of something it turns out there was only two according to john house of champs he helped me out i was like dude you got to tell me right now like is there is there something else that i've missed because i've already done all 81 cards and i really don't want to have to reorganize this binder again he's like no it's just those two like, thank goodness thank goodness all right we have mud dragon should all skiism Savage Dragon, Chaos Space, Summon Limit. So many good cards. Intis, Win, Fairy Tail Luna, Junk Speeder. Apparently, Junk Speeder? I saw. Okay, so I saw M. Cole's uh, thumbnail and it was like short prints and it had Junk Speeder on there. And I was like, I didn't actually end up watching it. So I didn't see if that was like the case or not. This is, this is I feel like a YouTube viewer. I only looked at the thumbnail and the title and I immediately. You know, I made an assumption about it, which is what happens with like 90% of the people, I feel like. And then they leave a comment down below that they got clickbaited or something. And like they didn't even watch it. They just like read the title or something, which I'm kind of I'm relating with it. Oh, there we go. Collector rare pot. That's pretty nice because so many people treat the uh, YouTube just as like a it's like as a like a news headline. Basically, you don't actually read the article, which I, I got to say, I've done it before. I mean, it's easy to do when you have like notifications on. You get a notification, you like see it. You're like, oh, yeah. And then you forget to watch or you don't end up watching it. And then later you're like, I saw that info somewhere and you think it's true. But then it turns out it was just like part of a, a thumbnail or something that was like had some other context that you didn't actually ever watch. So that's something that happens. I, I'm relating with it, guys. I'm a viewer on YouTube as well. I, I get it. Even though when you see the comments from my end, I'm like, oh, so annoying. And then I'm like, wait, it makes sense. Ningirsu, Ningirsu again. All right, we have a lot to go, guys. This is gonna be a long video. Just get, sit back, relax. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be epic. A lot of cards. I mean, it's already been epic. We really want to get that Ash Blossom, which is the most expensive card in the set. 25th anniversary, QCR, uh, which, I mean, I don't agree that that's, that's the best rarity. I'm not that I'm saying, I mean, I guess they're, I'm, if they're agreeing, the price is agreeing that it's the best rarity. I just don't think so. I just think the ulti and the collector rare is just better. And they just, they're just better. You can read the cards. It's very important. Just, it's like too much. Somehow they made Starlight more shiny. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, reasoning, 
Harvey's Feather Dusta. Tour Guide, oh, Dengirsu, that's a pretty nice one. So you can actually read this one. So maybe it's because it's the XC's background. So the XC's maybe are actually pretty nice at Quarter Century Secret Rare. I'm not gonna lie, I like this one. I think it looks really good. So it does vary from card to card. That's kind of the cool part about seeing all these cards in different rarities. You can kind of pick and choose. So you don't have to say it's always the Collector or always the Ultimate Rare, or always the QCR. You can kind of be like, you know what? I like it, this one in this rarity. So that's why I'm gonna grab. That's kind of the cool diversity that we have with this set that I really, really like. And, uh, it's pretty cool. We'll see how it kind of pans out with the market. We've already talked about that reasoning again. I'm pulling a lot of goat cards. We'll see how it pans out. It seems like a lot of the single prices are going down at the moment, which obviously they are because today is the first day that uh, everyone has not been pre-sale locked. They've been able to actually list their cards. And now we'll kind of see what everything goes for. The thing is with this, while there will be a lot of stuff on the market, there's gonna be, other than supers and ultras, when it comes to the higher rarity, there's gonna, not gonna be a lot of quantity, I don't think. Because even though they are easy to pull, there's so many different ones, it's unlikely that there's like a hundred listings of the QCR Ash, right? Because, you know, you might get the Ash, but it's probably not gonna be the QCR, it might be another version. So there's gonna be so many different TCG player like listing areas for it. They'll be like the super version, you know, all that different stuff. I, I don't feel, I don't envy TCG player. That's what I'm trying to say when it comes to trying to actually get everything listed and organized for this set because there are 500 different variants, which they've done it, I think, with Magic before, so I guess they kind of know what they're doing. I don't know if that's the same, like, people working on that, but I'm sure they could get some advice. Hey, what'd you do over there? But yeah, normally TCG player, I love the platform a lot, but there's a lot of issues sometimes when it comes to, like, finding the right card. I say a lot of issues, probably not a lot, but sometimes you're looking for something and it'll need like a parentheses. Like you can type in like blue eyes, white dragon in this press search and you'll be able to see all the versions. But if you don't know that, like I didn't know that for a long time. If you go in and just press like blue eyes, white dragon and click it on like the search bar, a lot of time it'll exclude other things like blue eyes, white dragon, parentheses, ghost rare won't be on there. It's kind of confusing and it makes no sense to me. Dark Lords collector rare, beautiful. Like there's so many good cards, I can't spend any time on them because there's such a long video. We're 20 minutes in, I literally have not made it to the back row yet. I'm still working on the front couple of stacks I have, which weren't even as tall as the back row. So yeah, this is gonna be uh, sit back, relax, enjoy it, check it out the next day as well. But we're also gonna have a live stream. So you are gonna have rarity collection coming out your ears. But I hope you guys enjoy it because I certainly am. This is definitely a set. I'm actually secret rare ash, finally. I don't love that. I mean, it's seven rarities, but I don't love that it's the original secret rare. I mean, there's no way to avoid that, obviously, with seven rarities, but it kind of stinks that the original, you know, secret. Now there's another secret. There was a prismatic secret, but that was like a different secret. You know, it looks different. So this one kind of look, this one honestly looks exactly like the maximum crisis. A little bit of the newer card stock and stuff, but that's about it. It's a very pretty card, though. I will say that secret rare will definitely be a okay for a lot of people that don't want to spend money on the high rarity ones. I'm wondering what that goes for. Tri Brigade Revolt, probably the most boring QCR. Actually, number 79, whatever card that was, I was doing the binder and I was like, why is this in here? It was a very boring card. So whenever we pull that in high rarity, I'll be like, Ugh, great. Okay, Baron, evenly matched. Dogmatica, Fallen of Albaz, and Ferris. So many cards, like this set is, I just can't under, I can't believe this is a real set. It's honestly amazing that it's a real set. I'm really hoping that it works out and this is something we can get every once in a while, you know, not too much like we talked about, but at a, on a consistent basis. Like, man, we do this, somebody said every five years in the comments and I was like, look, I wouldn't be mad at that, uh, but that is probably a little bit too long. <laughs> it's like, I don't think it has to be five years. They said every year, like five years, like the OCG and I was like, wait, the OCG does it more than that, don't they? They've done like four sets recently and the oldest one's like 2014. It's not every five years, is it? Unless it was 14, 19, 24, or maybe it was 13. I thought there was four of them though. I don't know actually, maybe that is the truth, which if they do every five years, we'll be fine when it comes to re like, it will, the market will be totally good waiting that long. I, th I think they could get away with doing it every three, even maybe two, call by the grave. The interesting thing though, if they did decide to do that, if they decided to go like every like year even, you know, they try to push it like extra hard. If they did that, I feel like they could just cut out every single reprint set. Fossil Dig, there you go, Dino fans. I cannot read that. Uh, Spellbook of Judgment. They could literally go, 
All right, no more side sets. The only reprints will be in rarity collections. So it's like all those 81 cards that they come out with or whatever they decide to do, Rota, all come out in that one time once a year, which, oh, it was Ice Barrier, I think. No, no, this was just another boring one. This is in the 70s as well. The 70s, they ran out of ideas for sure. And I'm not talking about the decade. I'm talking about the rarity collection. But yes, they, they could literally like be like, okay, no more of these are... Uh, uh, extra reprint sets we're getting rid of legendary collection season or legendary duelist season two all those seasons they're out of here we don't need those uh we're getting rid of collector rare sets junk speeder apparently a short print uh dimensional barrier collector rare beautiful we're getting rid of that we're putting everything in rarity collection so there's not all these extra ones and you're getting your 80 something reprints a year and that's it so then like anything not in rarity collection goes crazy and then the next year they potentially get hit so honestly that could be kind of fun because that would one cut down the amount of sets that we're printing which i've already talked about i think that we need to cut back on some people disagree i think that that is really important that they were like yeah but if they're still crappy sets it was like well they won't be as crappy because there won't be as many sets because the reason the sets become crappy is because we end up having too many of them and there's not as many good cards to you know new cards or cards to reprint and stuff like that so if they do is one rarity collection a year then there's one set of reprints That'll actually give some room for the other cards that didn't get reprints to breathe a little bit. So you kind of do want some cards to creep up a little bit. It's kind of a good thing that some cards can do that. And then eventually they're like, okay, when this becomes a $10 common, it's really time to hit this thing. So it could be cool. The, the only problem, well, there's a few, I'm sure there's multiple problems with that. But another problem I would consider with that is thinking about like commons is you start having to put, it should all schism is pretty cool. That's another one for my uh dark magician dogmatic of uh, should all invoked deck there we go that was the wrong order but if you start having to put like commons in here as like three seven rarities it depends on what it is but some commons are not really exciting but we do have a few unexciting cards in here already so i think it would probably be fine those are kind of the options i think it's either take oh chaos space cool it's either take your time do this once every three to five years or you make this the reprint set of the year. We have like four core sets. We have this set. And then like, that's it, basically. Summon limit, time thief, redoer, Elwich. I mean, it'd be bad for me because we wouldn't have as many things to open, but uh, I think they would actually be pretty healthy for the actual card game in the market. It could be pretty cool. Who knows? Inspector Border. I don't know. It's just an idea out there. I don't think they're actually going to do it. It's very unlikely they cut back to five sets a year. But if they did that, it'd be pretty, pretty exciting. I mean, when Rarity Collection dropped, everybody would be like, it would be even crazier than now, right? It would be nuts because all these cards would have no reprints at all. Junk speeder. Okay, these, is that a misprint here? The way it's like shining there and there, but not there and there. Is that like supposed to be another name or something? I don't know what's going on there. That's interesting. Cyber Angel Benton, Dingirsu. That's pretty nice. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Okay, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Still have not pulled high rarity of that. We want to get at least an ulti collector rare or 25th of that, right? That'd be pretty cool. Pot of Extravagance, Decode Talker, Heat Soul. We are almost to the back row, guys. We're almost to the back row and... Uh, Ready to get mirror forced. We have 25 minutes of footage already. And we have not touched the back row. So I don't think I'm gonna get, my goal was to try to do this in like around an hour, but normally we do one case in like 50 minutes. The thing is this only has five card packs. So I was hoping it could be faster, like half as fast. If it was half as fast, I could do like an hour. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen at this rate. I don't know. I, it just, I'm not exactly sure how many was in these front few piles, but it doesn't feel like that many. I feel like we are not close to halfway done and we are close to halfway look it's kind of like this as well maybe that's just how the text works no actually this is all shiny the other one i feel like we just had some missing that was kind of weird small world it's a small world after last pack before the back row we're gonna heavy storm that thing we're gonna be done we have dimensional barrier dogmatica punishment beautiful ulti we have another dogmatica lots of dogmatica in here also i have to consider that there will be editing involved and there were some moments i was drinking water and stuff that's gonna get cut out so that will help. Ghost Bell, we have Iris Sword Soul, Cherubini, very nice. Looking good, that looks like a collector rare. I didn't really look at it closely. Nope, didn't have any texture, okay. Or at least any, it, they still have texture. Well, kind of, they have some texture. It's just different. Pot of Desires, Code Talker Inverted, Pre-Preparation of Rights. I can at least get more room for my stacks now though, now that we have moved on from the front ones that's collector rare beautiful ferris and should schism the thing is though when i do the full pack openings i cut right to the rare a lot of the time maybe i'll maybe i'll stop doing it like that eldritch collector rare alternate art there we go Had a little bit of a 
hiccup there. But yeah, I guess I should go sideways. That'll speed it up a little bit. We do need to speed up slightly because I don't want you guys to be here all day. Chaos space. Though, I, I, well, technically I do want you to be here all day. I guess that is what we want on the YouTube channel. You watch my videos all day, but guess what? That's just not realistic. Abyss, there we go. I mean, you're not going to watch 12 hours of Rux and 34 content, or are you? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you've ever done that, let me know. I used to do that back in the day with uh, Simply and Old School Expert and stuff. So I can't say I've never done it before. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Oh, that's a big one. Pot of Extravagance, 25th anniversary. Okay, now we're talking. We're crushing it. Crushing it. Let's go. We have Galaxy Eyes Afterglow, Junk Speeder. Oh, my goodness. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Ash Blossom, Time Thief, Pot of Desires. We are pulling the pots, baby. It's pot central out here. Yes, here we go. We are crushing it. So many packs to open. I would say so little time. I mean, we do have to stream today on Twitch uh, when I'm recording this. So there is that. There is some time constraint. I won't say little time. I think we have plenty of time before that starts. Got to continue our Pokemon Platinum run. There we go. Wing Dragon Raw, Ice Dragon, Dragon's Prison. We just hit our second 10K video on Pokerux with the new Crystal Legacy video. Super excited about that. Over 4,000 subscribers right now, which is pretty incredible, I mean, to be honest. I was never expecting that channel to do that well. We got a Reasoning and a Lava Golem. So it's pretty awesome to see that. And it's pretty interesting. Like a lot of these people are not former fans of the like the Yu-Gi-Oh channel. There are a lot of just new people that are watching the channel because they're not into Yu-Gi-Oh, they're into Pokemon. So it's pretty cool to see that. We'll see what happens with that channel going forward, but. It's been fun making content there on Twitch. Okay, wow. This is quite the opening. Quite the opening. We have Lone Fire, Ice Dragon's Prison. I think you get minimum one secret, right? It feels like you do. The worst you can get is two ultras, two supers, one secret. Let's see if that's true. Yeah, I feel like I get a secret there every time, the second slot. Let's see if, let's try to confirm that here. Okay, we got a Dogmatica Ecclesia, the Virtuous. Beautiful, 25th. And then a Blue Eyes Abyss. Finally, we get the Blue Eyes in Collector Rare. Look at that thing, guys. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Beautiful. Rarities look so good. So good. I will say they crush the rarities for the most part. I don't love the Platinum Rarity. I think it's a little boring. Dark Ruler no more. I would have preferred the old Platinum Rarity, honestly. I like the old Platinum. I know a lot of people hated it. It looked more interesting than this. I'm not going to lie. This one is not that interesting. It's just a little bit boring. We have a Effect Veiler, a Nibiru, and a Harpy's Featherstorm. What a pack. Anybody would be happy with that pack. That's really nice. Beautiful stuff. Egyptian God Slime, Nightmare Unicorn, evenly matched. Beautiful. Look at that. Good stuff. Chaos Space. We have a Nibiru. Primal Being, Eldritch, Lava Golem. We're looking good. We're looking okay. Nadir Servant, evenly matched again. Red Eyes Flare Metal and a Blackwing Samoon. The Poison Wind. Interesting one to be in here. Blackwing card for Simo. I actually used that in a Blackwing deck on Duel Links at one point. Shocking. I know. Did you guys know I played Duel Links before? I know. It's amazing. Pretty incredible. We have a, oh, a Dimensional Barrier. I can barely read that. You can read it through here a lot better. I think it's the angle. You know, actually, it's not too bad. You can, I had it at like this angle, so it was harder to read, but that one's not too bad when it comes to readability. All right. Rarity Collection. Let's keep it up. It's a great set. We're loving it. Nibiru. We're loving it a lot, actually. We're going to be opening the most of this set we've opened in a long time, probably. Depending on how the, the, you know, the randomness goes for what we get. Nibiru, Magical Eyes Fusion, Cool Dark Magician card, Predipant, Dragastapelia, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bomb, 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 Summon Limit, bomb, bomb, Time Thief Redoer. I hate that card. It's so annoying to get rid of. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bum, 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 Rhoda, Yu-Gi-Oh. This is the most Yu-Gi-Oh set ever. It's epic. We have a secret. Yeah, I feel like it's a guaranteed secret per pack. At least one. Goes, yeah, it's always in that second slot or it's something else. Ash Blossom, also a really nice card. The crazy thing is like the supers and ultras, like ashes, I'm just putting them in like the bulk pile. I'm not bulk because like it's all going back to the store anyway, but it's just like I'm, I'm not separating them. So. It's kind of crazy barren like too. It's like I, I just have too many cards in my hit pile. I can't afford to put some ultras or supers in there. Dogmatica Ecclesia. It's kind of insane how this works. This is definitely a lot faster opening this way. Master of Dark Law, Spellbook of Judgment, and Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous back-to-back -back collector rares. It's so cool that you can pull three high rarity cards. That is something that I've been asking for and saying that's the staple of a good set for a really long time. The question is, are they too easy to pull? Like, I don't know. That is one question you got to put out because they, I mean, you're getting like a lot per box. You're getting 
three QCRs, four ulties, four, there we go, forbidden droplet. Um, that's really nice. Four QC, four, wait, three QCRs, four ulties, four collector rares, three or four platinum rares. I think it might be three. That's 12 high rarity cards right there. If you include the platinum rare, which I'm not really sure counts. We have junk speeder, but that's one every two packs. You're getting a high rarity card, which is really cool, but I don't know if it necessarily counts toward being like, cause a lot of time it's like the two poles is really awesome for the good sets because it means you can pull high value out of it win i mean it's exciting as well obviously but when it comes to like like returning your value it's like oh i just got a lot back on this one pack i don't know how that's gonna pan out in this i don't know if it's gonna pan out to where these cards are actually worth a lot dogmatic punishment i really have no idea like if it feels like all supers are gonna be really low ultra same same way there's like a lot of the time there's two of them per pack pot of prosperity like a lot a lot of times just going to be two ultras and the max you can get is two supers so they're kind of almost as common as supers the ultras so those two are not going to be that rare artifact lancia so if they're not like a crazy card like artifact lancia ultra and super i mean i'm seeing like under a dollar for those like should be easily under a dollar baron 25th oh yeah wow that's nice okay baron looking good we have had some really good pulls out of this case at least two cases at least uh, we have Egyptian God Slime, beautiful, nice looking card. So yeah, those are going to go down. The secrets, they are guaranteed per pack. So they're kind of in the same boat where not guaranteed per pack, but if there's not a high rarity, but when we just discussed a lot of time there is a high rarity in there, but it doesn't always take the secret spot. It has to be a platinum or a QCR, which means it'll only be six times. So it's about 18 regular secrets per box. If that we can deduct that correctly, because the only things we're placing are the three QCRs and the three platinum rares. So 18 secrets per box is quite a bit. So the secret rares are definitely going to be a little bit more common as well. So those probably aren't going to be crazy expensive. Should all schism. And then the other ones, you know, at three per box and four per box, that is pretty hard when there's 80 options. Those will probably be the ones that really are harder to get because there's not going to be a lot of quantity on the market. So there's not a lot of quantity, you know, people push them up. The thing is they will be rivaling each other. So you can't just put like an ulti ash up for like $500 because there's none, none listed, because then you could just be like, well, the QCR is only 200, so it's gotta be like around that at least. So there will be like some competition, whether it's the exact rarity or it's another high rarity from this set, you know, keeping the prices down. So I don't think anything's gonna go too crazy out of this set, at least not yet. Maybe in the future it could happen when people are, you know, there's not as much available. Not everyone is opening it at the same time, Fallen of Valbaz, because right now, the original release of a set is the number one time for quantity on the market because everyone is buying it. You know, it doesn't matter if you're like a vendor, if you're just a fan of the of the cards, you might just open some for your deck or whatever. You might open one box, but in the future, like this is never going to happen again. We don't really do rewaves in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a ice barrier. I'm going to have to pull that again for our own binder. That That's disappointing. But yeah, so this is why, I mean, there's going to be number one amount of competition now. Uh, I think this set will be nice in the future, though, because people are always going to want these staple cards. Like, even with all these reprints, people are still going to be like, you know what? I can open some rarity collection, try to pull the cards that I need for my deck. We have Lightning Storm, Egyptian God Slime. I feel like we've pulled every Egyptian God Slime in this video. I think we might have, actually, which is a good sign for our openings coming up. We have a secret, and then we have an infinite impermanence. Same with that. We've pulled a lot of imperms. I don't think we've pulled the ulti yet in this video. We might have pulled that yesterday, actually, though. Nightmare Unicorn, Abyss Dragon, win. Can you please let us win and get the QCR Ash Blossom? Ash Blossom Rarity Collection. Will you allow us to pull it? Reinforcement of the army. Okay. It's been fun so far. We're at 38 minutes in. This is usually where we have a secret code for you real fans of the channel. And this time, we're going to come up with our own rarity, okay? We're going to come up with our own rarity for the secret fans of the channel who made it to the 38-minute mark, which is going to be a little bit below the 38-minute mark because there will be editing, Pot of Prosperity. Okay. Okay, ulti, I see you. I think our secret code. Oh, and this is going to remind me. I, I, I was wanting to talk about this because I was laying in bed last night thinking about rarity collection, as I do. We have a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Uh, and I was like, man, you know what would be cool? for I was thinking about my idea that I never talked about in yesterday's video or did I was that yesterday's video or two days I can't remember I recorded them in the same day so now I'm confused lightning storm when I was talking about the collector rarity collection I was like oh man what are some cool ideas we could do for that uh we have a harpy's feather storm can't wait for people to get QCR harpy feather storm they're gonna love that what are some cool ideas and I was like you know what would be awesome what we didn't get in rarity collection was ghost rare and I was like, you know, Gosher is cool and all, but I remember in the, I think it was the Korean, it might have been just in general, they did a Gosher Blue Eyes SDK artwork, and they also 
had like some lines across it was like a it was like a parallel kind of thing it wasn't the best rarity like i was like eh, it's, people didn't really love it because like the ghost was cool but the rest of it was kind of weird it had like this um what do you call that the it was like a laminated film on it or something it was it was kind of weird so uh people didn't love it but i was thinking you know what what we could do instead of having that same rarity we could do ghost but we could make it an ultimate ghost and use the japanese ulti that we got in this set so i'm talking not like the the classic ulti but like the shiny part of the outside of the actual artwork so the artwork will be ghost and then the rest of the card will be the ulti which is like shiny on the borders shiny out on the like i don't even know what you call the part like outside here but shiny there like let's look at this so here's an ulti so like imagine this is a ghost rare right here and it's an ulti around it so it'd be an ulti ghost or japanese ulti ghost if you want to call it that i think that would be really cool and that would not be that would be like a one card. That wouldn't be like every card gets that rarity because I think that's what they did. They threw the blue eyes in there at just that rarity. We throw in some iconic collector card at a one of in the set. So you can only get it in that one rarity. And then everything else is the same where we have like seven rarities or whatever next time. And that just makes it a huge chase to add in with all the other cards that you're, you're trying to get out of here. And it makes it like really collectible because if you keep these boxes, you could potentially get the ulti ghost you know, alternate art blue eyes or something. I don't know, whatever we want to figure out with it. Cause you can always just make more art for blue eyes and people are going to want it. So that's what I was thinking about. I was like, that'd be pretty cool. We never did the secret code. Secret code will be ulti ghost. Ulti ghost is the secret code. Ulti ghost, uh, ulti ghost poggers. You got to add the poggers to make sure that you've been listening. People, people would be like, what's going on? They're like, wait, there's an ulti ghost in here. What does that even mean? Yeah. So I think that would be incredible. That would be really, really awesome. I think that eh, Konami, I don't know. I mean, if you're looking for an advisor. You got a guy over here. I got you, man. I got you. It'd be nice and it'll be worth it for you. I think I, can get, I got some good ideas for you, Konami. Got Inspector Border. And then like the rest of the set could have some staples and they could have, and this is obviously if we don't, which we're not going to, but if we go to the, uh, one reprint set a year this probably wouldn't work but just a few reprints in here or like actual meta card reprints and then we could have a ton of collector cards like you could put all of the Gazodia in there if you wanted to something like that you could put um you know the sacred beasts in there that'd be pretty amazing sacred beasts like all all of them at every rarity would be pretty insane you could do i mean you could do the final from uh labyrinth of nightmare would be pretty golden cool. deer servant we got oh we got back to back to back high rarity cards there. So there's just a lot of things you could do that'd be pretty epic. I mean, I'm just saying, I think it'd be pretty sick. Nibiru, number 100, Deco Talker, Heat Soul. That's pretty cool. 25th anniversary. We got a long way to go. It's gonna be smack dab in the middle of the video. People are not gonna see that code. Only the real fans, if you hear that, that special, special moment, then you know that you are a real fan. Or I'm incredible background noise, one of the two which is, you know, it, it, can, it can correlate infinite impermanence. Just because I'm background noise doesn't mean you're not a fan. Compulse downard. There are so many packs left. I wonder if we're through one case. That's the question. If we are, we're doing okay. Lava Golem, Quarter Century Secret Rare. That's the number one card in the set. And by number one, I mean 001, like the first card in the set in terms of the set number. Pretty funny, kind of a weird one that Lava Golem started off the set. Cyber Angel Benton. No, I'm not making Drytron people on Twitter, okay. Twitter, is it still called that? That's what I still call it. I'm not, I mean, X, you can't call it X. It's the stupidest name ever. Yeah, those people on X. And then when you're like trying to like say something about X, it's one letter. So it's really hard to differentiate it from, you know, if you're trying to type xylophone or, you know, something like that, which I'm never typing, but I'm just saying. It's just weird, man. It's just weird. Very weird. We have the Blackwing Samoon. I just, not a fan, man. Not a fan. We say we got to go back to the little bird, the little birdie. We got the Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. Very cool. Crusadia Avermax just got a super reprint. Now he's a big boy. Cure Century Secret Rare. We've got the Rhoda Reinforcement of the Army. Very cool. Lots of packs to be opened. This is only the beginning, everyone. Only the beginning. I don't know how we're going to do this tomorrow. I don't know at what point we're going to stop. And, you know, I guess we're going to like just literally like, OK, don't have this. Leave it up. Put it in the binder immediately. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Ghost Bell. It's going to be really hard. I wish I had an extra camera that I could point on like a, I could just have it pointed to the binder at all times. That would actually make it really easy. Fossil Dig. We have Striker Dragon. Reasoning. Do, 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 do. All right. Mud Dragon. We have the Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. Didn't we pull that in quarter century? I think we did early on. So many packs left. This is not going to be a short video. I hate to break it to you guys. I, I think you've realized it because you've clicked on it and you saw, oh, this video is an hour and 45 minutes long. It's pretty long. 
Yeah, that's probably going to happen. I'm going to do my best to make it an hour, an hour 15, you know, something you can actually possibly watch most of. We have Forbidden Droplet. Cool. Okay. Rarity Collection. You have been good to us. Don't forget, if you do want to grab some of this, I do have a discount and affiliate link down below. Very supportive if you guys do that. I hear that a lot of you guys have been using the code. I mean, thank you, Rarity Collection, for being a good set worthy of being pre-ordered, but also thank you to you guys for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. it. Helps me get more product for the channel, which is always great. You guys love that. Ball of all bats. I mean, who doesn't love product for the channel? I mean, right? That's just what we do. We open products. Here we go. Oh, another 25th, another afterglow. We got there's a dupe. See, that's what can happen. Duplicates can in fact happen. Spellbook of judgment. Wow, we want that ash blossom. Let's make it happen. Win. We have pre-preparation of rights. We have not even sniffed an Ash Blossom high rarity. It's been secret as our absolute best. So, I mean, it could be short printed. It might be a thing. I really hope it's not, but you know, cause <laughs> that could be our demise trying to pull the Ash Blossom. It's the last card we need. I wouldn't even be shocked. That would just make perfect sense that it's the last of the 81 cards and seven rarities. Tour Guide's a really nice one. That's pretty sick. Tour Guide, getting a little upgrade. Had the ulti before. We have Dimensional Barrier, but wasn't it a turn? No, it was Astral Pack. I've decided I don't like turbo pack ulties, guys. I've decided. I went to uh, the Edison tournament. You guys saw the video. Here it is right here if you missed it. If you're if you're here and you haven't seen that video at a 48 minute mark, there's another Egyptian God Slime. Interesting. I'd be shocked because if you're watching this for 48 minutes, you probably watched my video about the Edison tournament. Uh, the reason I don't like turbo pack ulties is because they are the most flimsy thing ever, which I knew, but they're even more flimsy than I realized because I have a, um, what's that card called? Thunder King Ryo. I have an ultimate rare in my Edison deck. It's in my side deck actually. And so one time I was going through and I was like, you know what? I'm going to side in this or actually, what was I doing? No, I was, I wasn't side. It was before I was actually playing. I was re-sleeving my deck because the sleeves I was using were kind of weird and I, my cards had warped a little bit randomly and I was like, crap. So I had to re-sleeve them and I put them into uh, some extra sleeves that I had trying to like give them some more rigidity. And this is another problem that happened. This could have been partially because of the warping, but I pulled out the Thunder King Ryo ulti to re-sleeve it and I tried to put it in the sleeve. It just bends and like doesn't leave a crease. It just like bends like it goes and like turns like this. And I'm like, what in the world just happened? Like I didn't do anything. I barely put any pressure on it and it just bends. And I'm like, this card is it has no rigidity to it, which when you're playing with them, it's kind of important, like kind of important to have. So as a playable card, I do not like turbo pack. So I was going to pot of desires ulti. I was going to put the dark arm dragon ulti PSA nine that I had in my deck, but I decided not to because it's like, oh, it's too flimsy, I think, to play. And now I know that the guy uh, who really wants my dark arm dragon PSA nine is watching this right now and he's, he's typing the message right now. And he's like, oh, wait, now he's talking about me and sending him a message about buying it. He offered me like eight hundred dollars for it. It's worth like five hundred. I was like, dude, no, I'm not selling it right now. I was like, that's just too much, man. Like, he's, like, I'm not selling it. And he's like, OK, but I know I know now that I said that he's going to he's going to want to buy it again, which can't harm him, man. Can't fault the guy. Can't fault the guy. He's like, look, I see an opportunity. I want that thing. I want to buy it. But I sold the other one already. And so I'm kind of like, I kind of want to hold on to this one, you know, because we did pull two of them, which was pretty sick. I like to keep at least one card from our cool openings. A lot of the times I, I don't, you know, but with the Dark Arm Dragon, that was pretty cool. And we lost a ton of money on that. Even if I sold that card for 800 bucks, I would lose like, I don't know, like, I think, I don't, what, what did I spend on those? I can't remember. I, I probably lost like 70% of my money, even if I did that. Like, it was Lava Golem again. We're getting a lot of dupes. That's kind of scary. So I feel like, yeah, I, I'm going to get killed on that anyway. Why not keep my, keep my guy, you know, keep my card? I remember back in the day, I was super strict on that. People would be like, I want to buy your card you just pulled. I'm like, no, I'll lose money if I sell it. So I'm not going to sell it. So I would do that all the time. People would want me to, I'd open a $300 box, I'd pull a $30 card. They want me to sell it. It was the best card in the set. I'm like, Sorry, I got to hang on to this <laughs> potentially graded or something because this is 10% of my money back. I can't just sell this. OK, we have a lich. We have a lich. And it also gave me a good reason to like collect the cards. You know, it's like, well, I mean, like I'd rather collect this card than a mud dragon. First time seeing that. I'd rather collect this card than make back 10% of my money. You know, it's like if it's going to double your money, it's like, OK, that's a little more tempting because it's like, OK, I actually opened something and made my money back. It's a miracle. That's why with new sets, it's really it's really hard for me to not sell a lot of the cards because I open them up and if I sell them all immediately, I can usually break even at least. And then it's like, okay, I at least made the video for free. Like that's the big plus. The problem is if you wait, they all get reprints and then they get killed. And it's like, I spent thousands on these cases. 
I didn't sell everything right away and now I lost like 50% of my money. So it's just like really hard to hold on to stuff because even if I want to hold on to stuff for potential decks or, you know, just to collect and stuff like that, I really just got to accept that they're going to go all the way down if I do that, which is kind of unfortunate because like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they get so many reprints now, which we're opening a reprint set with seven reprints makes sense you just can't count on them to stay up there. Like eventually, maybe in like five years, they might go up, but it's like, I'd rather just buy an old card. Like there's a lot of old cards that would hold up a lot better than some of these new cards. So it's kind of tough. It's a really tough spot to be in. That's why I think that the uh, the potential for our sword soul, the potential for like actually getting less sets would be amazing. Cause like, I think it would help with that. Like buying a card, Collector Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon is beautiful. You know, buying it, spending some money on your cards and then actually not losing all of it, you know? Cause I know there's there's like a fact there's like factions of Yu-Gi-Oh people. There's the dear servant. I kind of forgot that was in here. They're like, okay, there's some people that are like, I want to spend my money on my cards. I want the cheapest version, and then I never want to think about it again. Like I want to I want to spend as little as I can on my deck just so I can play it, and I'm never gonna try to sell it or anything. It's just gonna be used as like a, you know a game piece, you know, whatever you want to call it. So I want to buy like my Ash Blossom at you know eight dollar common. I'm happy with it. I'm never going to try to resell it. It's just there for my deck, which is totally respectable and totally fair. And if you're doing it that way, you don't really care about the resale of it because you're kind of just investing it as your like fun money or whatever you want it to be versus like somebody else who buys like a high rarity card. They might still want to use it in their deck, but they're also like, I like this because the potential of like I spend the you know, 50 bucks on the higher rarity card. It might end up being a little bit more expensive someday when I'm, you know, done with Yu-Gi-Oh or I'm done with this deck and I want to move on to a different deck. I could sell it, maybe even make some money, break even at, at the worst, you know, stuff like that. Those are the people that really get hurt when it comes to like the, you know, you spend a bunch of money on your deck, $500, $1,000, whatever it is on a Yu-Gi-Oh deck these days with like higher rarities. And then they, they get hit with like the seven reprints from Rarity Collection and they're like, oh, well now this card was a hundred bucks. Now it is down to 20 bucks. And it's like, ouch, that, that really hurts, you know? So Ice Dragon's Prison at that point, it's like, you know, I guess I'm just gonna hang on to it. So there's a couple of different of different things. And obviously there's a, a fine line that we always try to try to talk about Ash Blossom's Secret. We've only seen two of those. We have not seen anything above that. Lone Fire is pretty cool. Have not seen an Ash QCR and I have not seen an Ash Ultimate Rare or Collector Rare. Just throwing that out there. Triple Tactic Talents. And I don't know, I haven't noticed necessarily the other ones, but Ash is a kind of an obvious one when you haven't pulled it. I am making progress here. And we're getting to the point where you can almost see the bottom of the wall, which is pretty cool. Okay, we have Baron de Fleur. Okay, we have Lone Fire. We have Infinite Impermanence. We have pulled definitely at least one version of every card so far, I would say. At least one of, of all 80. Though I would guess multiple versions of a lot of them. We've been in for a long time. We've been going for a while. Let's see what else we can pull. And still no Ash, though. This will put us up to... How many boxes open? That would be, we opened two yesterday, two the day before, 24 today, 28 boxes. Looking for the Ash Blossom. We have not pulled it. We have, a, not only have we not pulled it, I mean, we haven't finished the boxes yet, obviously, but we have not pulled even any of the three high rarities. No, four, we haven't pulled the Platinum either. We haven't pulled any of the four high rarities. That's insane. Four high rarity Ash Blossom cards. We have not pulled any of them and we've only pulled two secrets. So it's hard to tell based on just a couple of cases, like if a ratio is a ratio, but there is sort of a, a trend here with Ash Blossom being hard to pull. We have a number 100 evenly matched, so that'll probably be one to get really excited about tomorrow when we're opening live. Make sure you don't miss it. It's gonna be on YouTube, guys. It's gonna be super fun. I'm pumped, I'm ready, I'm excited. We will all be going in and trying to pull all 500, and I think it's 67 cards, 567 cards, I believe. It's 81 because there's 79 cards in the set, plus there's two alternate arts. So 81 times seven, I think is 567. If I hopefully got my thumbnail right from yesterday, because that's what I put. I used a calculator, so there wasn't any quick maths going on there. We have a, and now it's really just about the memory if I'm getting it right or not, because I could be getting the wrong number, but I'm pretty sure that sounds right. Okay, it would make sense because yeah, 80 times seven, eight times seven is 56, 560 plus the extra one times seven is seven. So that would be 867, or 867, 567. That would make sense. 867, just add 300 to it. If there was 800 cards in here, I might die. I think I would probably die. I'm probably gonna die anyway. So just keep that in mind. This might be the last video you watch it. Well, tomorrow will be the last live stream if that counts. Oh man, 25th anniversary. You are, you have been quite, okay, Baron. Is that their second Baron? Okay, is there clumping here? Which a clumping could ruin us. It could be really bad. We really don't want clumping. That would be really terrible for us. Getting some ashes in the super rare slot, which is good. I mean, those are gonna go down for sure. 
there's going to be a lot of those on the market. They don't seem to be that easy to pull, but easy enough that there's going to be a ton of supers flooding the market probably. Over 500 packs open today. I mean, it is... A 500 pack opening for a new set. We don't normally do that. Well, we do, but it's a lie, but not for videos. So we're going a little crazy this time. Pre prep of rights. Going a little crazy. Abyss Dragon, we're still looking for the, uh, what do we get? The Collector Rare. So we're still looking for the Ulti and the Platinum and the, we might have gotten a Platinum. I don't remember. And then the QCR, of course. Master of Dark Law. Very cool. Oh, wow. We were about to hit the one hour footage mark. We could see how much I edited out um, based on what you're at right now. We're 59.34 right now. So if we're down at like 40 minutes, then I've done a lot of shenanigans during this, I guess. I would guess it's not really, because I've been going pretty steady for the most part. Just opening pack after pack because, I mean, real time, I got to get this thing done, you know? My editor's got to edit this in one day. He's insane. So shout out the editor in the comments. Say, Kenneth, we love you. You are the man. Lightning Storm, say you are an absolute legend. You're crushing it right now. Words of affirmation for Kenneth, guys, right now, because he deserves it. Because when, uh, when I was like, look, Rarity Collection's coming out. Uh, you got to get these out ASAP. And he's like, all right, I got you, man. And then also there's other stuff we have to get out ASAP. We haven't actually posted yet, so we got to keep that on the DL, but that will be something you'll see soon involving our whatnot thing, which if you want a little spoiler, go check out whatnot on my profile. You can see it. Also, you can use that whatnot code down below and get you $15 for free on the on the website. Pretty cool. So we're going to be doing something crazy over there that we are preparing for at the moment. I'll give you guys a little a little spoiler by and by the, the spoiler is that you have to go over there. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will tell you on this channel soon. So if you're a little bit on the lazy side, I respect it and you can just wait for that video and the stuff, other stuff coming out for that. Okay, Mud Dragon. A lot of cool things coming up in November. Should be a really fun month. I'm excited. I mean, October was a fun month as well. We did some good stuff. Also, uh, I've already kind of mentioned this, my 1,000 straight uploads video is coming out in November as well. So we got a lot going on. Baron the Blue, Secret Rare. Baron doesn't seem to be short printed. We pulled a lot of high rarity of Baron, so I feel like that's just, he's just normal. Baron de Fle, spell look of no judgment. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, we got a win. That's a, that's a win. That's a, that's a win. That's a, that's a dub. It's a dub ski. We got an ice barrier. That's an L ski. We don't want that. All right, let's keep going. I got I got I always just have to like tell myself to keep going. Another. That's three straight QCRs. Magician Salvation. Very cool. You'll love to see that. See if we can go a little crazy here. Harpy's Feather Storm. Keep pulling them packs to see what we can get. Pot of Desires. Secret Rare. Yeah, I think this one's going to make it over an hour. I think it is. We haven't we haven't really made it over an hour in a while. We've had some oh, another one. Did your servant? We are 25th anniversary crazy right now. 25th and oh reasoning. Let's go. Another one. We are absolutely on fire right now. Pulling QCRs left and right. I'm thinking that these boxes might be mappable because I did not shuffle them. And it seems like the same row for each one is having a QCR in it. I think they might be mappable. Vision Hero Ferris. Interesting. So keep that in mind if you're buying loose packs of rarity collection. QCRs are potentially mappable here. Seems like they probably are, I would say. Seem to be in the same spot on all these. We have a Nibiru. I think this one, I don't know if this is one away or if this is one that might be it. Let's see, it is. Okay, we have the uh, summon limit. Who wants to be summon limited by a QCR? Just let me know in the comments. I'm sure you're excited for that. We have a Fossil Dig, a Dinos. Let's see, it might be not this one but the next one wait let me see i've pulled an ulti in a while those are probably mappable as well that's never good i don't know why they make their stuff mappable it's probably just easier in production but it's not great for like potential resale okay that one didn't have one maybe i'm just off a little bit it can be kind of hard to tell if they're on the same like stack because a lot of times it looks like they're on the same pack but they're not so it could just be like random chance or it could be actually true i don't know you guys will have to do some investigating for yourself but it feels like there is potential for that. Some moon. I think I've pulled all the QCRs off this row if they are here. Small world reasoning. Rocks and special. There's a collector rare. I don't know if those will be mappable because they seem to be a little bit more random, but I don't know. Could be interesting. We have a tour guide from the underworld. We have a Cherubini and a tour guide from the underworld in a different rarity. Very cool for rarity collection. Yu-Gi-Oh! Bum, 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 bum. I'm ripping these packs to shreds. They will not open right. Iron Sword Soul, Change of Heart. That's actually one of the higher ones, surprisingly, in terms of price at the moment. The Change of Heart QCR. Let's keep pulling. Let's keep 
open in Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, Elblitch and Elblitch, both arts. Very cool. You'll love to see it. We have Ice Dragon's Prison. We have Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave. We have a number 100 Numeron Dragon. Can you bless us with something else, Epic? Selene, Queen of Master Magicians. We need something else cool to prepare us for tomorrow. It looks like tomorrow we might still be looking for the Ash because... We haven't had luck with it today. There's a shit all schism again. Very cool. Not had luck with the ash today. We literally have not pulled a high rarity ash yet. This is kind of nuts. This is kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie. This is actually insane. The fact that we don't have any ash blossom above a secret. That is unexpected to say the least. I didn't think they would uh, they would go that hard, but it seems like they might have gone that hard. Seems like it was gonna be hard to pull anyway, specifically, but I guess not hard enough. Called by the Grave. Spectre Border, yeah. Who's getting ready to play their high rarity in Spectre Border? So let me know which one you're gonna play, guys. I know you're gonna do it. Don't lie to me. I know you're an Inspector Border fan. We have uh, Triple Tactics Talents. We might be down to like half a case now. We're making progress. Pot of Prosperity, pre-prep. I feel like we've gotten pre-prep in high rarity like 10 times. Ulti or Collector Rare. Cherubini. Inspector Border. Inspector Border. Inspector Gadget. We have Blue Eyes Abyss, Spellbook of Judgment. Isn't that, did that get unbanned? I guess it did. That's why it's in here. Max C would be nice, you know, if they'd Throw that in here like they did an OCG. It'd be pretty cool. Change of heart. Code Talker. Code Talker inverted. There you go, Distant Code Talker. The Distant Code Talker. We have the Eldritch the Golden Lord. Eldritch the Golden Lord. Back to back secret. And we got an ulti as well. Pretty cool. Eldritch looking nice and golden, but he's not actually golden. Finally, the alt art is not golden, which is good for everyone, even though uh, Ultimate Rare apparently looks like it, <laughs> supposedly. I, I feel like people... That is not a, I feel like some people think that, but it can't actually be most people. There's no way. All right, got a little toasty from those fire pulls. So just keep going. Uh, got, got a little toasty there, but we got to finish this out strong. You can see the top of the pack. So that means we're getting close. Pot of Extravagance, Code Talker Inverted. That's a nice pack. So many high potential packs in this. You can go absolutely crazy. Just imagine having like your supers being Ash Blossom and like, I don't know, Imperm or something awesome like that or like Baron, and then like your other high rarities, you get like a QCR Ash, you get like a ultimate rare, you know, one of the big ones, what would it be? I already said Imperm, but something like that, Effect Veiler, or something crazy. And then you get a, a collector rare of another big one. Like those could all, that could happen in one pack. That would be nuts, be nuts, nuts, nuts. Dimension Shifter. All right, what do we got here? We got a Tribrigade Revolt. I wonder if we did like a, a mega pack of these would be kind of nuts, actually. If we do a mega pack tomorrow, it could be absolutely ridiculous. Just imagining all the rarities. Like it, it could be anything from Ultra to, you know, QCR. You never know what's coming. It'll just be banger after banger. Dingirsu. I, I posted a reel of like the rarities and some guy was like, man, New, uh, new Yu-Gi-Oh cards just suck. It like, just looks so bad or something. And I was like, dude, you're looking at like the coolest rarities ever. There's a Baron again. Like, you will never be satisfied if the, you don't like these. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. Lava Golem. Which, you know, that just sums up Shorts comments and TikTok comments in general. But it's like, man, this, this is just classic stuff right here, dude. We have a Nadir Servant. Gox has Afterglow. We have a Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. What else can we pull at the end? Which is not even really the end of this thing. We got a long way to go to potentially. I mean, probably like at least a few more boxes. I mean, we're probably looking at, I don't even know. I can't even guess. There's an Ancient Fairy. Very nice to go along with. So it got a quarter century. It didn't get a starlight like the other ones. Kind of interesting. Time Thief Redoer. The uh, Stardust, Black Rose, Black Wing, they all got like a real a real starlight. Not saying this is a fake starlight. I'm saying it's a different rarity, okay? This one got one that looks like a starlight, but it's not a starlight. Okay, we have a some limit Baron Super. Very cool. These packs I cannot get to open easily. We have Fallen of Albaz. Lightning Storm, that's another cool one. Uh, by the way, uh, that's definitely going to kill our Lightning Storm investment on our $1,000 uh, $1, investment because it's a QCR now, which is, you know, we invested in Starlight Lightning Storm a couple years ago. And uh, that is why you do not invest in Yu-Gi-Oh. Do not. Do not. Donuts. Credit of Plants. Uh, Downard Magician. You're a nerd. Come on, nerd. Okay, I just hit that stuff everywhere. Yu-Gi-Oh, nerd. We're going to pull some crazy stuff. We got Lightning Storm. Speaking of TikTok comments, there you go. Oh, you still like Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I had one guy that was like, wow, if you get excited about Pokemon cards, then you're like, I, he said, what did he say? It was some, it first was like broke. I was like, interesting comment about cards. 
And then he said, uh, it was like sad and lonely or something. And I was like, yeah, that's a classic. You know, people think if you play cards, you're lonely, which is like, I mean, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Everybody has a hobby. I mean, whoever you are making that comment, you have a hobby, too. And it's probably not that cool. You know, what's cool? Watching sports. Like, that's not that cool either. You're sitting there watching a bunch of adults doing stuff. Like, I'm a sports fan, so I can definitely say this. But it's like, you're not doing anything. You're just watching the game. You know, what's cool about that? Huh? What's cool? Nothing. Just like cards. Not cool, but also cool at the same time, if you think about it. You know, there's cool things about it. There's also things that you're like, that's not that cool. So, you know, just get over it, man. Artemis, very cool. It's like, just let people have their fun, man. Let people have their fun. So I didn't respond to his TikTok comment, but I did respond in this video. So there you go. When he never watches this, there's a 0% chance. Imagine that guy leaves that comment and then he watches an hour into a... <laughs> an opening video he's like you know what dude your tiktoks just really got me back into Yu-Gi-Oh, man even though he thought it was pokemon so i i don't think he was ever into Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> that was the funniest part he's like pokemon dude who likes pokemon how could you get excited there's a blue eyes abyss dragon ultimate rare i love that so yeah we're at the part of the video we are we are in ramble mode okay we're in ramble mode i don't know if you guys like it or not because it's happening okay ramble mode is active it is it is currently ramble time the switch has been flipped this is what normally happens in live streams we don't usually get here in videos like completely here we get here a little bit on the case openings but we don't usually get to hour plus recording sessions so i think we crossed that in recording and a couple of those mystery boxes recently but we ended up being under after the editing this one ain't getting under it it's going to be an hour plus guys it's going to be an hour plus so just sit back relax enjoy the show i mean you've already been relaxing your back probably hurts you've been relaxing so long speaking of my back's starting to hurt we got egyptian god slime i'm getting old guys it's a thing that's happening pot of prosperity collector rare beautiful okay rarity collection we have a ash blossom secret rare wow we did it that still haven't done it that's a play set of those so if you open over two cases imperm 25th that's our second one of those we have pulled one less 25th anniversary imperm that we have ash blossom secret rare just keep that in mind time thief redor i think we're hitting the point where we're getting more black wings to moon yeah some weird's going on some weird's going on we have a tour guide from the underworld 25th anniversary beautiful beautiful cards are being pulled sparkly just like we like them Lone fire blossom can we get another rarity collection rarity we have a oh Vorloge savage dragon rarity collection it's really it's kind of creeping down a little bit now we're, we're making some serious progress pot of desires nibiru so yeah over two cases we're at the end of this it'll be 28 boxes no ash blossom has been pulled over a secret rare that's amazing i thought maybe the qcr or something would be hard to pull but i wasn't expecting to not pull any of them really was not expecting that and that is kind of what's happening right now number 100 we have an l lich i wonder how our value is doing this is going to be by the way i've meant to say this earlier it's going to be pre pre-sale prices obviously because we're editing this on thursday pre-sale locked until friday so keep that in mind it's gonna it's gonna help with our with our values for sure pulling our value back because it's pre-sale locked and prices are going to go down 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 for a lot of cards as soon as it unlocks and everyone else can list their cards bearing the floor but it's just going to be really hard to keep up with i don't know if he's going to be able to keep up i mean at some point i don't know he's gonna he's gonna do his best kenneth's gonna do his best but i think it, according to the screen i think we're probably doing pretty good because pre-sale and there's so many high like decent cards i'm wondering if that'll eventually continue because of the scarcity of like certain versions and that'll just kind of like build them up because you just not everyone has them i don't know it's going to be really, really interesting. We might want to check back, back in on this set in like a month. Maybe we could come back and check out the values to see how it looks. If you guys want to see that and you've made an hour, 15 minutes in, you probably do want to see that because you are a dedicated fan of the channel and I love you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the number one fans. If you made it this far into this video, because this is a long video, very long. This has turned more into a movie edition. Okay. So movie edition fans, we have a oh fossil dig dino fans. There we go. Our shiny stack is now like twice as tall as the pack tack. Uh, the pack stacks. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Come on, dimension shifter. Oh, shifter. I feel like I haven't seen shifter at all. Maybe I've just been blowing by it, but I feel like I haven't seen a high rarity of it at all. Master of Dark Law, maybe that's a short print. When that'd be a weird one to short print dimension shifter. I guess it is a popular card, but only because it's good not because it's liked i don't know if people that use dimension shifter like it some people are probably evil and they're like yes i love it but some most people are like it's a necessary evil for their deck or whatever inspector border man now i gotta stream my my throat's gonna be like Ugh, i can't take this anymore 
You've got to stop extravagance. We have an ice barrier. Yay. So many rarity collection. So many cards. Pot of Extrav, 25th anniversary. Ooh, Magical Eyes Fusion 25th. Speaking of, Lightning Storm Collector Rare, or uh, sorry, Ultimate Rare. That is definitely going to help with our investment in Starlight for sure. We have Small World. We're actively damaging it right now. So many, oh wait, I forgot. That's not even the whole high rarity stack. That's only half of it. I forgot I moved some of them earlier. So the high rarity stack is now like a foot tall. That's just how crazy it is. It included regular secrets too, but in a couple of ultimate or ultras at the beginning. Then I decided to stop doing that. Okay, Cyber Angel Benton for the Drytron peeps. There you go, Drytron peeps. Speaking of Drytron peeps, let's pull something good. Oh, Torga, that's a nice pack right there. Three hits. Don't know what that had to do with Drytron peeps, but sorry guys. I don't know if people are still playing that deck. It's kind of a uh, kind of wash at this one, I heard. But I think there might have been a resurgence for some reason. I don't remember what the reason was, because you know, met a guy like me. Just somehow have missed it. Okay, we are running on fumes, guys. We got this. We got this. We can do this. We can finish this thing. Tomorrow, I'm going to be running on even more fumes. It is going to be a marathon. I'm going to have to prepare. I'm going to have to, like, eat a big breakfast. I'm going to have to have water left and right just prepared so we can finish that thing. Because it could be hours. I mean, it's going to be hours, but it could be even more than hours. Like, hours and hours. We have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Alpha. Rarity. Ra, 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 rarity. Herald of the Arclight. Rarity. Please bless us with your epicness. Ash Blossom. Just, okay, I don't even want the QCR. I just want a high rarity ash. One. One high rarity ash. That's all I'm asking for. I would take Ulti Collector. I mean, I prefer those anyway, but Ulti Collector Rare, even Platinum Rare. I'll take that. Tri Brigade. Revolt. Okay, not the most exciting card. There's an older older deck too, Tri Brigade. We have Summon Limits. Maybe I was thinking of Tri Brigade that have a resurgence. Maybe it wasn't Drytron. They kind of were around at the same time. Alpha the Master of Beast. That is not an Ash Blossom. No, it is not. Please, sir, I want some more Ash Blossom. That's an Ash Blossom, but it's a, I mean, an Ultra, not a Super. My least favorite of these seven rarities, as you guys saw. We have Magic Eyes Fusion, Selene, and Baron de Fru. We are really making progress here. We might end up with a reason, no, I say reasonably, but it feels reasonable for how long it is, for how many packs we've opened today. We have a Dingirasu, Dingirasu. Win the wind channeler. Channel that wind. Channel the wind, I should say. Okay, okay. A couple of collector rares. We got Inspector Border, Lone Fire, and then a Secret Rare Borload Savage. That's beautiful. I'll drop the card. Please. Please. We need it. Ash Blossom, why? I wish we were adding these to the binder so I could like just see like what the progress is and like what what has been shorted or like what seems like it's been shorter we'll figure that out tomorrow call by the grave nightmare unicorn it'll keep the suspense up there were three nightmare unicorns in that pack three in a row nightmare unicorn nightmare unicorn nightmare unicorn it's possible to get five of the same card that would be really cool actually to get five straight of the same card that'd be pretty sick you get the collect you'd have to get no it's not possible because you'd have to get two supers so you can get four of the same there's the other secret dude Nightmare Unicorn Galore over here. I guess with that one, you could get the alternate art as well. But you could get Super Nightmare Unicorn, then you get QCR, you could get Ulti Collector Rare, all in one pack. That'd be pretty insane. What if it was Ash Blossom? That That's like the super pack. That'd be like the, the best pack of all time. Okay, Downer and Magician. That one looks really shiny for some reason. Maybe because I haven't seen a QCR in a little bit in this opening. Because we keep pulling them all in a row. Let's see. Win the Wind Channel or Effect Veiler. That's a good one. I feel like not a lot of high rarity Effect Veilers, but we have gotten some. Unlike Ash, which we have not at all. We have a... Ooh, Magician Salvation. Okay, cool. Quarter Century. Still a lot of potential, but we can do this. If you guys are enjoying the video, if you've made it this far, I mean, and you haven't subscribed, something is going on. Just might as well subscribe. If you're going to watch me for over an hour... At that point, I think it's time. I think it's time to hit that button down below to subscribe to the channel. We're making our way. We're slowly trickling our way up to 300K. I mean, it's a long way away, but we are attempting to get there. So if you want to be a part of that epic celebration, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be fun. Dark Ruler no more. And uh, the closer we get, the sooner we can start planning for something cool. We have a called by the grave quarter century. So here they are. All the quarter centuries are being pulled. Okay, not that time. Bullet well, Savage Dragon. Cool. Let's see if this one has a quarter century. I'm feeling like it will. I'm feeling like it will. Nope. Dimension Shifter. My pile has gotten so massive, I can't even reach those corner right packs because the pile is so tall. 
Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. And that's not even including like another 40% like that I moved. Forbidden Droplet, also beautiful. Ash Blossom, man. It'd be the card that we can't pull, didn't care, Sue. Quarter Century Secret Rare. Borload Savage Dragon. That one I feel like we haven't pulled high rarity of either. It's possible that one got shorted, but it is kind of an older card at this point. So I mean, I guess so is Ash, so <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Jackalope, collector rare. Shredding through packs, baby. Shredding on through. We have a Magical Eyes Fusion. We're almost to that one and a half hour mark. This is insane. Cyber Angel Benton. We have opened so many packs today. It has been very fun. The whole time, just keeping you on your toes. You're not just opening junk. You're opening good stuff over and over and over and over. It's very cool. The Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere mode. Let's keep going. We have a Striker Dragon. Rarity Collection. Can you get, oh, Pot of Extravagance, pretty good. Pretty shiny, I'm okay with that. That's pretty good, it's not Prosperity yet. We have not pulled that one. The reprint of the Starlight, Pot of Desires and a Fossil Dig. There you go, Fossil, or sorry, not Fossil players, Dino players. You can play Fossil, I don't know if that's a, it's an archetype yet, but maybe it'll come out, sub, a sub Dino archetype. That'll be when they extinct the Dino archetype in the uh, in the meta somehow. They'll make a Fossil archetype. That'd be kind of sick, actually. Uh, I say, wait, there's a Fossil Warrior. That's not an archetype, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know, maybe the Fossil Warrior Skull Knight I'm thinking of. Then there's, the, isn't there a Fossil Warrior something? So maybe it's Fossil Warrior is a archetype, not just Fossil. I don't know, I can't remember if that's a full archetype itself or if that's like the other half. I don't know, who knows? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure you guys have not heard that because we are 90 minutes into a video. That's just insane. Win the win channeler, Baron de Fleur gets a collector rare reprint, beautiful card. We can't stop pulling crazy cards, but we are getting lower and lower on terms of actual cards that we have left because we have opened quite a few now. Rarity collection, I believe in you. You can do this. Summon limit, looking good, come on. Dingirsu Fossil Dig, no Ash Blossom. It's a miracle. Like, you wouldn't even know this card has a high rarity with how many packs we've opened. Over 500 packs, no high rarity cards for Ash. Okay, Chaos Space, pretty nice. We have a number 100 Numeron Dragon for the Blue Eyes decks. Many cards left. Many, many cards left. We have a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Still searching. Still searching for something in the Ash Blossom department that is not Secret Ultra or Super. the 25th anniversary ash blossom okay i bring it up i mean I, i've been talking about it the whole time i know i know the comments say that every day yeah but you've been talking about it the whole time but it's just like i'm in the process of talking about it and it pops up it's just a miracle ash blossom and joy spring we didn't pull the ulti we didn't pull the collector rare we didn't pull the platinum we pulled the qcr first amazing amazing and not gonna lie can't read it but that's just how it goes with these cards. We finally did it. Okay, so it took about, I'd say 500 packs. Is we have like 500, what, 70 packs here? I don't remember how much it is, but yeah, that took a while, guys. That took a while, but we did it. Best card in the set has been pulled. We'll take it. Good time to pull it too. An hour and a half in, only the real fans see it. Triple Tactics Talents, until I, of course, posted on a short in a few days. Then they'll be like, huh, what was that? I missed that one. Wow, that's exciting. Ash Blossom, and I was, I was like, oh, that's it. That's the Ash Blossom. That's amazing. Okay, Ice Barrier, pretty cool. Is that like a, is that like an Ice Barrier actual card or is that just the name? Like the archetype Ice Barriers? Okay, Mud Dragon. That Baron doesn't go up there. The Giant Tower of Pulls. Ash Blossom, you are, you are doing well. And of course, I pull it for Frontline. Frontline, congrats on your Ash Blossom. Both times I've opened packs for Frontline, I have pulled the best card. Last time I think it was Mirror Jade, uh, Starlight Rare. This time it's Ash Blossom Quarter Century Secret. So I don't know, just for some reason, it just happens. I mean, we did open two cases this time, so it made it a little bit more likely, but still, that's pretty cool. We're getting down, we're getting down there. There's only a few packs left in each stack. So probably down to like three boxes, four boxes, something like that. Danger Jackalope, Win the Wind Channeler. I feel like Win has been pulled many times, trying to give us the W, doing their best. Wow, 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 indeed. Cards have been pulled today. Cards have indeed been pulled. We have a Mech Knight, Crusadia Avermax, and a Chaos Space. We are opening cards until we can't anymore. Galaxy Eyes Tour Guide, because this is only the beginning. We got tomorrow. Like, we got to re-pull a lot of these cards, because these are just, you know, not my cards. Junk Speeder. Apparently, that's a short print, according to the thumbnail. I don't know. I don't know if it's true. You've been great, Rarity Collection. At this point, I, I'm just I'm just happy with what we've got. We've done really well. Really well. We'll see how our pricing is doing. 
Magicalized Fusion. I don't know if we even if it even makes it this far. I don't know. It's gonna be tough because there are so many value cards in here. Dingirsu. Down to the very last bit of the opening. We're running on fumes. We're just trying to get here, finish it up. Elblitch, we're just trying to do what we can to win this thing, to win this opening. I feel like we've won this opening. We've done pretty good. I'm gonna start combining stacks just so I can reach them a little bit easier. This is what we got left. Still a decent amount back there, but still a lot left. Here we go, Rarity Collection! Bop, 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 bop. Ash Blossom Secret. Hey, that's been hard to come by. Ice Barrier, that has not been hard to come by, unfortunately. Pulling those left and right. We have a Nightmare Unicorn. Coming in at Nightmare Unicorn. What's he gonna do? We have the number 100. Prob what does this look like to you guys? Three boxes, something like that? Maybe a little bit less. We have an Alpha the Master of Beast. Didn't have a Starlight too, so there it goes. Rip, Triple Tactics Talents. Rest in peace to all those Starlight Rares out there that formerly had value and have now been reprinted seven times. Uh, Cyber Angel Benton, one with a rarity very similar to their to their own. RIP, rest in pieces. Pieces of value, at least. We have the Preta Plants. Rarity Collection. We've given us the Ash Blossom. Now will you give us that Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon? That's what I want now. That's my new, my new hunt, the Abyss Dragon. Can it be pulled? Will it be pulled? No, that is a Dogmatic uh, Punishment. And Alpha the Master of Beast is being pulled in Ultimate Rare. So many cards in here. Where do I begin? We just begin with the packs. Wind has been pulled again. Wind is everywhere. Wind does not like to be left out. Wind likes to be included. Rarity Collection. You can do this, man. You can do this, Rarity Collection. These stacks that I have to my to my right are super sparkly. They're not as sparkly as when we had the promos from the 25th anniversary and it was all quarter century secrets. That was the shiniest stack I've ever had, but these are also pretty shiny. Pretty shiny, that's for sure. Striker Dragon, Ghost Bell, that's a good one. We are down to the last few. Uh, you guys gotta let me know. Now that you've seen this many packs open, if you made it, what is your opinion now? Has anything changed or are you consistent with how you felt before? Uh, based on just, I don't know, what you've seen with the ratios, maybe Ash Blossom being really hard. What are you guys feeling? How are you guys feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty good. I think it's a good, a good set for the most part. I think people are gonna love it, which is really, I mean, you can't really complain if a lot of people love it, right? Eventually, if it's if it's bad and bad things happen, though, it'll it'll come to light. You know, people will realize, oh yeah, that that kind of sucked for this reason. But people are loving it like this at the moment. There's not really much to complain about. It's pretty nice when people are excited about a, a set. It's always fun, and it's nice to actually have something from Konami that is actually exciting. And it's not like, man, this kind of sucks. You know, it's just nice to be excited. Oh, speaking of excited. Sorry, Elblitch and Inspector Border. We got the Collector Ash. Now they're really showing up. We got the Collector Ash. We got the Quarter Century Ash. Now we're just missing the Platinum and we're missing the Ulti. Okay, they've turned around. Maybe Ash just was clumped at the bottom. Maybe that's what happened. Who knows? It's hard to know with only a couple cases and a couple extra boxes. You can't really draw real conclusive evidence out of that. You can draw opinions, but you can't draw evidence. You can do a hypothesis but it won't be confirmable by what we have here. I almost threw that pack. Okay, Fallen of Albaz. I'm excited, we got two Ash Blossom. It started, that's crazy. It took an hour and a half to get to any of them. We finally got two of them. Change of heart. We are cutting it down slowly but surely. Lightning Storm, Nibiru the Primal Being. I thought that, I was like hoping that maybe an hour and it's just not gonna happen. I There's no way, there's just no way. Magician Salvation Dimension Shifter. Absolutely no freaking way. We have the Egyptian God Slime and Infinite Impermanence. All right, we're down to about as many packs as we opened in the last two videos. Like, like this is the amount of packs we had and we are an hour and 40 minutes in and this is how many we have left. It's kind of insane. This is a lot of packs. So once again, Frontline, thank you so much for allowing me to open these for you guys. Hopefully it goes well for the store and everything. And it's been fun. It's been really fun to get to open these up and pull some amazing cards. Artemis and the Dark Ruler No More. The Rarity Collection has been a pretty nice hit so far. Red Ice Flare Metal Reasoning. All right, I have to sneeze. I'm going to power through it. I'm not going to wait. I don't have time to wait for the, to sneeze because guess what? We've been opening for an hour and 40 minutes. I got to get this. Here it comes. That's just how you do it, guys. Professional pack openings. Power through it. Just let it happen. Don't worry about it. 
Don't worry about it. Bless you in the comments if you're still watching. And by you, I mean me, because I know I just made some of you guys sneeze. So you're you're welcome and sorry. Some people hate sneezing. I personally am like, it just feels nice, you know, to get it out of there because you're like, oh gosh. But allergy season is, is upon us, guys. So there's going to be some sneezing going on for sure. So I apologize. We have a magicalized fusion. That's a nice quarter century. Will we get anything else cool out of the quarter centuries? I don't know. Eldritch. We, I feel like we pulled a lot of Eldritch. But two versions... Or seven versions to, uh, I guess it is versions, artworks. There's just going to be a lot of Eldritch to be pulled. You know, he's never really been this easy to pull, probably. Change of heart. I mean, he's taken up two of the 81 slots. I mean, that's not bad. That's twice as much as everybody else except Nightmare Unicorn. Wow, we are down a little nitty gritty. Also, I know YCS Richmond's going on. I kind of wanted to go to that this weekend, but uh, obviously Rarity Collection is just too important to not be here to do. And also... It's a long way and also i've been gone a lot of weekends so i'm like ah maybe this is just not my time so unfortunately i will not be at richmond if you guys were hoping i would be there i will not i made it to indy indy was kind of lit you guys saw the video about that we already talked about it but yeah i'm probably not gonna make it to every single event i try to make it to a lot of them but yeah i mean it is it is expensive to fly out to all of them every time and hotels and you know, all that stuff. And then they're just like missing out on stuff I could be doing for work, etc. So there's a lot of cost when it comes to going to those things. So unfortunately, in this one, there was just too much. There's too much cost. I couldn't do it, but it did look fun. I know a lot of people are going. Unfortunately, I won't be there. Borlode Savage Dragon. That's a really nice one. We're down. To, this looks like the last box at this point. Final box of the opening. We've opened 24 ish. Wait, whoa. What is that? We got a misprint over here. Oh, never mind. Not a misprint. It wasn't printed in. Unfortunate. That would have been cool. To get a misprint. I did see there were some ultimate rare misprints in this set that have been pulled already. So that, that could be pretty exciting. We have Ash Blossom again. Double Ash, actually. Double Ash. Let's see what we can get now. Number 100. Are we going to end it off with something crazy? Still two more Ash Blossoms that we have not pulled. That means that if either Ash wasn't really shorted or we've pulled like all seven versions of a lot of cards, potentially. Or maybe doubles or something. Who knows? I think it's just really random because there are so many different options. It's really hard to decide what's a short print when there's so many rarities and so many different options. We're almost at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. It's been long. It's been fun. It's been podcasty. Like, I don't even need to start a podcast because we have a podcast every time there's a new set. Basically, it's basically what happens, except it's all about Yu-Gi-Oh. So if I had a podcast, I guess it would probably not be, but don't have time for that either. No one got time for that either, guys. We got a lot going on around here. Speaking of, I forgot to the giveaways last week and I need to ship all of them and I'm behind on those. So I was trying not to get behind, but it's literally impossible not to get behind on giveaways. So yeah, sorry about that. I'm doing my best, but yeah, I, I'm swamped. I'm absolutely swamped right now. A lot going on. Rarity collection ain't helping. Taking up a lot of time this week, which is good because it's a great new set. People are excited about it. Rarity collection, come on, last few packs. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Still have not pulled that quarter century secret. We have, oh, I thought we might've pulled it. Spellbook of Judgment. That would've been cool if we pulled it right there. Spellbook of Judgment. No thank you to Spellbooks, even though I did play them in, guess where? Duel Links. If you guessed it, pat yourself on the back right now. You guys are killing it. Good job. Okay, so there's just stuff on some of these cards. Summon Limit. Okay, we done the last 10. Last 10 packs. Rarity Collection. You can do this, baby. We have Mast Hero and Dimension Shifter. Last 10 pack of runes. Vision Hero Ferris. Oh, it's through the pack. I don't know how that happened. Just rolled away on its own. We have a Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode. Seven packs left to pull something crazy. Ghost Trick. That's not it. That's an MBT thing. We've got a Fairy Tale Luna and Preda Plant. Five packs left. Out of 500 and something packs, we have Effect Veiler and a Shadal Schism, both nice cards. Down to the final four. Will we do it yet again where we pull something crazy in the last like few packs? Uh, oh, Elder Entity, Herald of the Arc Light. Three left, three more chances at something big. It is a nothing in that one, a bunch of nothing. Oh, that's the wrong stack. Two packs left, everyone, two packs. Come on, Moonfire. Okay, final pack magic, here it comes. Rarity Collection 25th. It's been incredible. We have more tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow's live stream completing the entire set in one stream. It's going to be nuts. I'm super excited for it. And don't forget, if you want to buy some, check it out down below. 5% discount code. Here we go. Artifact Lancia. 
Fossil dig. Okay, dud, dud in it. That's okay. Thanks again, Frontline, for letting me open these cases. It's been super fun. This set is absolutely crazy. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Dax, Search, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu Guine 62, Yu Gi Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.